Welcome to the home of the Model Railway Club. Situated a stone's throw from King's Cross Station, it was established in 1910, making it the oldest model railway club in the world. I've come to see a remarkable layout called Copenhagen Fields. It depicts the local area around the 1930s and has been an ongoing project for the last 20 years. Tim Watson was kind enough to give me a guided tour. First thing, give us a sense of the geography. If this is the real thing, the real world, where would I actually be standing now? You'd be a mile and a half north of King's Cross. This is a chunk of North London, and we're looking at the Caledonian Road and the main line that goes from King's Cross to Edinburgh it, at the southern end. So you're looking in Islington, you're looking towards Camden, you're looking at right. London. There's some bits of it I recognise that I know it's still there. I mean, for example, that tower, I recognise that. Well, that tower is the Metropolitan Cattle Market Tower, and that was built in 1855 when uh, the City of London built this market so that cattle wouldn't go up to Smithfield Market to be slaughtered. They came here. So the whole area became very much directed to, towards the uh, meat and livestock business. So hence, that's, that's the reason the... Uh, that's why you've got cattle there, yeah. And, so and they're being shepherded in. That's right, that's right. They were driven up the streets to the market, to folding yards and to the market itself to feed London. Um, the tower was just a, 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 an eccentricity, really, in a way, but it's a very fine structure and it still exists in North London. The church is still there, isn't it? Uh, no, there are lots of similar churches. That oh, church okay. demolished in the early 80s, we believe, but uh, the, it's, as, it's copied as close as we can to some photographs we found of it. I like the, the, the monks on their way to, <laughs> to prayer. In yeah. fact, around the back there, there's a, there's a monk who's been a bit... Uh, oh, this is maybe, yes. Yeah. Couldn't possibly comment. Doesn't look like his mother. No. And this is still, obviously, Caledonian Road. That's still there, isn't it? The station. That is a fantastic model. Yes, yeah, so that's built from the original drawings. And uh, the underground section is also modelled as well. Well, what gave you the idea of this? This is brilliant. Well, when we made the model, we wanted to replicate the railway the street scenery with the trams and so on, and also the underground. So we cover the three main types of transport in London as it was between the wars. Now this is one of my favourite sections all along here. This is mm -hmm. the, the high road, the high street. Yeah. I mean, the attention to detail. You've got the, that's the butcher's shop. That's right. With that's all right. the hams and yeah. stuff hanging up. Yeah. All the, yeah. All the uh, shops are named after club members or people associated with the hobby or whatever. So people are immortalised on the model. If we know the name of the shop that it should be, then we'll use a proper name. Like, um, a bit like, because the bicycle shop, Yes, I've seen a picture of that. Yeah, the bicycle shop is, is fairly at, closely based on, on, a, on one which was up in, further up the road in Islington. With all the bicycles out the front, look at those. Yeah. That that's road up there is where they, the Australians all sell their minivans. That's and stuff, right, that's it? right, yes. The, the pub on the corner there is the White Horse. Uh, I don't think it's actually working as a pub now. There's the building up here that still exists. Mm -hmm. and we drove past it this morning on the way down. It looks like in front of an old cinema. Or yes, well, folklore has it that there was a cinema there, but, but all the research we, we've done shows that there probably wasn't. And you've got sheep going there. What's going on with well, the sheep? Well, the sheep are being folded and uh, put into that pen there, and then they'll... Um, be turned into lamb chops at some stage. And there's the gentleman's, it looks like there's a bloke having a wee in there. Yeah, he is, yes, indeed. You yes, need to see yes. the brass pipes. Yeah, you yeah, can. Sure and let's that. talk about this area here, because this mm -hmm. is this fantastic row of houses. That's mm -hmm. But what, what you've done here is this kind of foreshortened it and compressed space, haven't you? Well, yeah, the, the, the scale of the model at the front is 1 to 150, so it's 2 millimetres to the foot. But at the back of the model over there, it drops down to 1 to 250, so a lot smaller. And also, we, we, you know, we've got a fair feel for using certain dodges to make the layout go further back than it would otherwise do. How do you do it? Well, industrial buildings can be big or small, but difficult to scale. Houses are always a known size. And we have a lot of industrial buildings. So where you have an industrial building, it can go down a lot in scale. And then you put a small house behind it. There's a cameraman. What's well, the down the, there? this area was very, very famous in the 1950s for the filming of the film The Lady Killers. And a lot of the railway shots were filmed from the top of the tunnel. And the famous thing in the film is when Alec Guinness and others get chopped on the head by a signal and fall into wagons, which would be on the lines that will be modelled here. Ah. The goods wagons here are all named after the um, uh, various actors in the film. So Warner. We have, yeah, Jack Warner, Danny Green, Peter, Peter Sellers, Sellers, Herbert Lom, Alec Guinness. That's brilliant. So what's happening here? You've got a whole new section of development going on down here. We're now laying the tracks and making the tracks for the uh, main lines in this area called Belle Isle. And the area here is now highly developed or being developed with the Channel Tunnel Rail Link. And it's a rather lonely looking building right at the end. Well, this very gothic looking building, yeah, as we say. This building was, we call it the cemetery building, I suppose that was its name. And basically in the 1860s, 
This was a cemetery railway which took the dead from London, took them a few miles up the road, up the line, to New Southgate. Right, so we're around the back of the layout. This is where the business end of it's all happening, isn't it? And th this is something I've never ever seen before on a layout, is this brass track work here. This is pretty well unique to the model, and we started it at the very beginning where we wanted to have very strong track in the hidden pieces of uh, layout. The layout takes to pieces to go to exhibition, and so where you have a baseboard joint, this sort of track is very strong. It's also very, very easy to get the vehicles put on the track because you just jiggle them and they, they drop into go place. They go straight and if in. they come off, they don't fall off. They just ride along the top until they decide to come back into, uh, into the right place again. And we have this machine here, which is used to bend the brass. The brass doesn't want to go that way. So this is a, a, a mangle, as we call it. And that basically puts the curve onto the brass strip. And then it's glued and screwed down to gauge on the baseboard directly. I mean, one thing we have to talk about is, of course, the rolling stock, which is fantastic. You've got one that's mm -hmm. under construction there. We build a lot of the locos completely from scratch. I mean, this is extraordinary detail in this locomotive. It's a, an unusual engine in that it has a lot of plumbing on the outside of it. It was built by a, a member of the Two Mill Association a long time ago. It has never actually worked, but it will do soon, we hope. So, Tim, you're saying 20 years to get this far. How long will it take to finish off this whole thing, do you think? Well, they're never finished. Um, Another 10 years, another 20 years, who's counting? We're not worried. <laughs> <laughs>